Okay, so today we're going to be testing out another number seven foundation because I'm a huge fan of number seven skincare and I'm a huge fan of the beautifully matte foundation by number seven. I've tried the Stay Perfect foundation recently and although it was a beautiful foundation, it just wasn't geared for my skin type which is oily well it just kind of felt heavy it never really set it didn't control my oils so although it's beautiful foundation and I think for dry skin types normal skin types it would be beautiful because it does give a really dewy finish it was just not right for me so today I've got the protect and perfect foundation this one is in the shade cool vanilla to have this ongoing issue with number seven foundation shades it's really strange because they claim that they've got all these wonderful shades that will match any skin tone but then I've not really had any look yet because my Beautifully Matte is in Warm Ivory, that's too dark. Then I tried the Stay Perfect in, in Cool Ivory, that was too dark. Yeah, so today I'm going to try Cool Vanilla. I feel like Cool Vanilla might be the one for me. So we're going to just see if the actual shade is right and the foundation costs 14 99 and if you're in the UK you can pick this up from Boots I believe that in the US this number 7 is sold in Ulta so it is available kind of outside of the UK the coverage is light to medium plus anti-aging complex fine lines appear reduced and it gives a flawless radiant finish I love that flawless radiant finish however i'm a little bit concerned because i've not had the best look with the more dewy foundations from number seven so yeah it says renewed radiance get immediate complexion perfection with our light diffusing formula that evens out skin tone and instantly smooths giving you radiant younger looking skin all day long well i would not be complaining about that all day long again for the long term just like our protect and perfect serum which by the way I love for the long term just like our protect and perfect serum this dewy formulation complaint contains a blend of protecting and renewing ingredients minimizes the appearance of fine lines for younger looking skin <gasps> so I am so excited about this because not only is it a foundation it's actually got you know skincare elements in it and it's if it's anything like the protect and perfect serum well, I am so excited. I didn't actually realise up until like this moment that it actually was meant to kind of have skincare benefits to it. So if I like this foundation, this could be like a holy grail type of situation. It'd be like a double, I don't know what do you call it, double-edged sword, but in a good way, like not a bad way, a good way. So it just says, for best results, shake before use, dot a little where you need it most, usually cheeks, nose and chin, blend smoothly and evenly with, with your fingers or a sponge, working downwards and outwards from the centre of your face. So I was actually prepared with a brush and a sponge to do the application, but seeing as it's recommended a sponge, I'm going to go with with those directions. This is what it looks like, it's very similar to the Stay Perfect foundation which I have right here so they're identical bottles and here is my i know i need to really clean the lid right now it's a bit skanky looking i know let's give it a little shake because that's what we do anyway i have been experiencing a breakouts recently just around my chin area and jawline i believe that that is hormonal and i have struggled with this kind of in my mid-20s so i don't know but anyway Oh, Cool Vanilla, let's have a look. What is the shade Cool Vanilla all about? So, oh my gosh, this is the wateriest formula of ever look. Can you see how watery that is? Wow, I don't think I've ever had a foundation as watery. Did I not shake it enough? I'm just, I mean, anyway, I don't know, but it's very watery. I've never had a foundation this watery before in my life. Okay, so just to give you an idea of how the shades compare with one another, we've got the Cool Vanilla here, which is the Protect and Perfect foundation that we're just about to try. Then in the middle, we've got the Stay Perfect in the shade Cool Ivory. And then over at the end, we've got the Beautifully Matte in the shade Warm Ivory. So Warm Ivory, Cool Ivory, Cool Vanilla. They are kind of very different. And if I were to just look at them there, I would definitely be going for the Cool Vanilla. Um, it's amazing to see the difference in shades between the two kind of ivories. 
but anyway i hope that that's kind of a bit helpful to you okay so i'm just going to put a little bit onto my hand this is like the runniest formula i think i've ever come across like ever we're going to see as well about the coverage and how well it kind of covers up the danger zone down on my chin i always used to think that spots were like for teenagers and you don't expect to get them when you're you're an adult because i never struggled with spots at all in my teenagers by the way this feels really like it feels very ceramy in a way very kind of liquidy okay so straight away i can see that this is going to be a very light coverage kind of foundation um it just doesn't seem in any way to have provided any coverage like whatsoever which is a little bit kind of disappointing right now so i'm definitely going to go in with a bit more just to see if we can build it up because this 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 is not acceptable for me i mean because this foundation has the skincare properties to it i may be tempted if it is a very light coverage to mix it with other foundations just because then you'd get the best of both worlds you'd get the coverage from you know a higher coverage foundation but you could also get a bit of the skincare kind of benefits of this one so that's potentially a way that i could use this foundation because just right now i mean it's providing me with hardly anything in in the way of coverage and it's not very dewy like it feels like it's instantly just kind of absorbed into the skin if that makes sense i mean it's just not giving me much in the way of coverage which i'm a little bit perturbed about right now so i think i'm going to end up just putting a little bit more on it's like i put it on and then it just disappears like it's going on and it's there but then it just says okay i'm getting a taxi now i'm off out i don't want to be on your face anymore i've got other things to do i've got activities that i need to go and attend look Oh, I don't like how it's sat. I don't really like how it's sat on my chin. I'd say in terms of the shade, this is a pretty good match out of the three that I've tried. This is probably the best. If you compare, like this is the side that I've just applied the foundation to, and then this is the obviously non-foundation side. I mean, it has evened out my skin tone, but I'm not really liking it. I'm not liking it. I mean, the coverage is so light. I mean, it's to call it light is probably a little bit of a um exaggeration actually so i'm just going to go ahead and apply this to the other side of my face i can't believe like the coverage it goes on and it just feels like nothing is on your face i'm going to just rub it in with my fingers because i do find that if you start off by rubbing a foundation in with your fingers it can give you a little bit more kind of fuller coverage so i'm just going to Go ahead and do that on this side i mean i wonder how it would go on with a brush i'm going to try it with a brush right so i'm going to try it with a brush i know that the directions suggested a sponge but because usually a brush can give you a bit more coverage i'm going to just go in uh, with the brush it is coming off as looking a little bit warm as well considering it's cool vanilla okay so i'm just kind of patting this in with the with the brush um it has provided a bit more in the way of coverage i would say and i think it's gone on nicely with the brush i wonder why they wouldn't have recommended like a, a brush though for some reason it does not want to stick onto my nose i don't know what's going on there my nose seems to just not like having foundation on it it just says no i don't want you on me get off i'm in control here Right, so I definitely did prefer the application with a brush. 100% with the sponge, it just felt like nothing was really happening. So this does look, look to be quite a buildable, friendly foundation. So it's light coverage, but I do believe that you could kind of build this up. And if you've not really got much that you want to cover up, then this could be ideal. You know, I'm actually liking it quite a lot more. This is, is actually providing me with a lovely kind of dewy finish it's definitely seriously light coverage though just to let you know um it doesn't look quite as radiant as i was expecting like it's almost kind of a little bit matte it's not liking being around my eyebrow up there for some reason 
do you know what? I'm liking this. I know that you can still kind of see my spots there and and there and everywhere. You can still see them, but I don't mind it because I love that it's kind of made my skin look quite healthy and fresh and it definitely has evened out my skin tone too. And it's done a good job actually of... Because I'm getting older now and I've got fine lines, I've got pores, you know, my skin is just getting a little bit kind of sassy, sassy on me. So I always do like to look for a foundation that isn't going to emphasise any of those things. And actually this one is sitting on my face really nicely. It's kind of sitting on my fine lines really well. It's not kind of, I don't know, it's not kind of sank into them and is shouting them out to the world saying look at how when she has some fine lines it's actually just quite flattering it does feel quite sticky so i don't think it's set but do you know what i'm liking this i just think this would be perfect for banging on you know at the weekend where you've not really got anywhere to be you're just going to go out shopping maybe for a walk in the park maybe you're just chilling out whatever you might want to be doing it you just want a bit of extra like oomph to your face but I'm going to be testing this out over the next few days and I will come back to you once I have formed my opinion on it so far I'm actually liking it it's a lot lighter coverage than I would usually like but saying that I think it's really flattering my skin at the moment and I feel like if you've got mature skin this could be a really kind of good foundation to go for just at this point it just doesn't seem to be emphasizing anything that I do not want emphasized so I'm gonna go now and I will be back soon with my updates but I will just do a little bit of a close-up I need to put a little bit more just on my nose there but by the way I think cool vanilla is definitely my shade as well which is really funny because when I went the first time to get matched for the beautifully matte they used the gadget and in my head, I was thinking, I'm cool vanilla. I am cool vanilla. Just wait for it. It'll say cool vanilla. The girl was like, warm ivory. I was like, excuse me? Excuse me? And every fibre of my being was saying cool vanilla. And when be assertive, be assertive, say no, no, no. I'm sure I'm cool vanilla. But no, I'm not that kind of person. Like, I'm very much like, I don't want to rock the boat or I don't want to like upset her or offend the, the gadget thing so I said oh okay then and then I bought you know warm ivory so I have been wearing this foundation on many different days at this point and I do really actually like it however things to note it is an extremely light coverage foundation I feel like this is going to be a great foundation just for kind of a light makeup days. If you're lucky enough to have a perfect skin, this could be an amazing foundation for you. I also feel, just carrying on the theme of the number seven more dewy kind of foundations, that it would be a lot more kind of complimentary on people that have dry to normal kind of skin types because I do find that I get quite kind of shiny and a bit oily you know I'm a bit of like a we have an oil party when I wear this foundation it's like I, I wasn't invited to the oil party but somehow here I am I would definitely feel a lot more kind of comfortable recommending this foundation to people that have more dry skin however however I actually really like this foundation this foundation comes into its own mixed in with another foundation that is a bit more kind of fuller coverage that's how I've kind of been most enjoying wearing it and I really like the idea that this foundation has skincare kind of properties in it a win-win if I mix this with a foundation that has more coverage to it a win-win I get the coverage from the foundation that's got the higher coverage and then I get the additional skincare benefits I don't know something really gets me going about the fact that this foundation has added skincare to it and because I am a big fan of number seven skincare I'm just like I love it I mean really I love it overall I have been impressed with the foundation it's definitely not my favorite that number seven have done it's my second favorite I've tried three that's four wait no come on three three I've tried three foundations from number seven this is the second favorite unfortunately cool vanilla is definitely too dark for me so I think next time I buy probably my beautifully matte I'm going to take a step down to Calico Town because Calico is the lightest of all the number seven foundations. If that one doesn't work for me, 
I don't know what will. And then I'm going to have to just write a very kind of pernickety email to number seven, just expressing my outrage that they do not have a foundation light enough for me. And I don't think I have, you know, the fairest of all the fair skins in the world. I don't think I do. Call me crazy, but I don't think I have the fairest of all the fair skins. So this foundation hasn't been like a total fail. I think it feels comfortable on the skin. If you've got oily skin, then you might find that this foundation is a little bit kind of heavy feeling uh, just because it never really feels like it fully sets very similar to the stay perfect foundation by number seven it actually is very similar to the stay perfect foundation i think it's geared towards the same skin type kind of has the same look to it but it's much lighter coverage this foundation would be ideal if you've got dry to normal skin you only want a relatively light coverage and you like a bit more of like a dewy kind of radiant look then i think this foundation would be absolutely brilliant for you to all of my oily skin people out there this foundation could also be good for you but keep in mind you probably will have to set it and it could potentially feel a little bit kind of you know not clammy just a bit heavy on your face oh, one last thing to mention this foundation i think comes into its own being mixed in with a fellow foundation that's how I like to use it and I think that's how I'm going to keep incorporating it into my life, you know. I don't want to just abandon it, I will incorporate it with other foundations. It's like a good team player, you know. Anyway, I'm going to go now. I hope that this review has been useful to you. If you've got any questions whatsoever, just about anything, I don't know, you may have a question about molecular science i don't know is that even a thing i have no idea molecular sounds like a scientific word and i know one of my subscribers natalie is a scientist so i'm sure she will correct me in the comments down below anyway i'm gonna go now i don't know why i keep going anyway that's very annoying isn't it anyway it's so obnoxious i'm gonna stop doing that i promise i'm gonna go now thank you so much for watching let me know if you tried this foundation in the comments down below not not have you tried the foundation whilst being in the comments down below because i don't know that's a crazy situation but let me know have you tried it what do you think what's your favorite number seven foundation is calico ever going to match and win who knows the the mystery continues thank you for watching i'll be back soon bye oh that was like the bye and win seriously come on that was very embarrassing bye okay Bye!